In 2005, there was a lot of commotion around here. People came to study the terrain. It was already clear that the terrain was ideal for wind power. Naturally, we had never seen a wind farm before. We could not imagine what it was like, what it looked like. Finally, construction work started in December 2005, and these four wind turbines were put into operation. They have a total output of 2.6 megawatts, and it was the first wind power plant in Armenia and all of the Caucasus. Currently, only one of the four wind turbines is operating. The other three need to wait for a company to agree to service and operate them. It turns out, if I'm not mistaken, we have been losing a lot of potential energy for two or three years because of the non-operation of these three stations. People realized it was possible to utilize renewable energy. One example of this is solar energy, which is already very common in our country, with solar water heaters and solar photovoltaic stations. There are people who install energy-saving foam blocks over the outer walls of their houses, which also leads to serious energy savings. And we have a vision for ourselves. In addition to the existing, ideal geographical locations and wonderful nature, we are hoping to be recognized for our energy-saving achievements, with which we are starting to see real progress. This is the largest photovoltaic station in this community, with a capacity of 370 kilowatts. It was installed in early 2020. It is very effective. To our right, there is a gas station. These facilities get their power thanks to this photovoltaic station. 370 kilowatts is quite a lot of power. That power fully covers the energy needs of the buildings I mentioned. This is the yard outside the solar water heater of our kindergarten. Up there, the water heats up and accumulates over here. The accumulated water is already used for washing dishes and similar tasks. It supplies hot water to the whole kindergarten. The installation cost was around $1,500. As for savings, it's almost $57 per month. If we add a fourth one, we will be able to save up another $38 on a monthly basis. In winter, the heater also heats the water. With the remaining electricity, if there is a need, we can heat the structure.
Our shepherd, unlike other shepherds, does not demand pay, does not want to eat or drink. It is not afraid of the rain and loves the sun. The most important thing for it is the sun. These are electrical insulators over which we have to run our electric wires. This is for the calves. That's why it's a little small. You can make an electric shepherd for yourself in any place you want without thinking that the battery will run out of power. As soon as I turn on the device, it will start making clicking noises, which means it works. It starts generating power. It will not cause harm, but if the animals touch it, it will hurt them. So the animals instinctively will stay away from the wire. This is our smart and beautiful shepherd. After the wind farms got set up, getting electricity through combining physics and nature became a no-brainer. Photovoltaic stations and solar water heaters are spreading around every day in the same contagious way. Any electricity-saving option, when used by someone in the community, immediately becomes widespread. It is very important that this trend continues and that the whole community learns about energy sustainability. It is very important to realize that renewable energy can be obtained in the world in very easy ways. It is much more important to realize that we are not going to be the last people to live on this planet. We must realize that there will be more generations after us, thus we shouldn't ruin our natural surroundings and deplete them. We should turn to alternative means. We should utilize the energy that is economical, saves money, and most importantly, protects nature.